<laughs> oh no. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia. This is Wonderlist and Beyond. Um, today I'm going to take you on a walk of the Ravine Beltline Trail. If you watched my video last week, um, I did two sections of the Beltline Trail, which was the York Beltline Trail and the K Gardner Beltline Trail. Today, we're going to do the remaining section, which is the Ravine Beltline Trail, and it runs east of Young Street. So let's get going. We're just coming up to Mount Pleasant and we've been walking um, in between Mount Pleasant Cemetery which is to the right and a row of condos I'm just gonna pan back that have access to the path and now the path or the trail um, goes into Mount Pleasant Cemetery. It continues through Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Just coming up to the map. I'll show you. So last week we started here at Young and Mount Pleasant and we did this portion of the K Gardner Beltline Park Trail. And, and now we are here and we're going to go through the cemetery to Moore Avenue to the Ravine Beltline Trail. So right now we're walking under Mount Pleasant Avenue and we're in the cemetery. Now we're out of the cemetery. I'm just coming up to um, Moore Avenue and the entrance to uh, the Ravine Beltline Trail. So that's the entrance. We're just going to detour up here to Moore Park to use the washrooms because there's no washrooms in the trail. This is the start of the Ravine Beltline Trail. They just recently um, updated the trail and just built a new retaining wall and um, these wooden things are new too. So the trail was closed for a couple of years I believe and it opened last at the end of last summer. The trail is quite busy today as it's a Saturday and on Saturday um, at the Brickworks, which the trail goes right through the Brickworks, they have a farmer's market. So you get quite a lot of people on Saturdays. What are you oh doing, puppy dog? What are you doing? People pay hundreds of dollars for those bats. Oh my gosh. Oh, puppy. Come on. It's a mud bath. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the cat's eye bridge. Oh no. Now he's rolling in the mud. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of picture a cat's eye bridge. We're just at the top at the cat's eye bridge, which is a continuation from Heath Street. Um, and you can pick, it runs parallel to St. Clair. <laughs> Back at the bottom. So this is going under Catside Bridge and we're just going to continue on in the ravine. 
dog you just saw rolling around in the mud. We got to speak to her owner. Her name is Willow and she has an Instagram account. She's actually a therapy dog. Her name is O.M. Willow. I think that's what she said. O -H -P. Oh, O.H.P. Willow on Instagram. I'm gonna look her up. Mud Creek. Yeah, this is Mud Creek, which runs through the trail at the bottom. So when you get to the fork in the road with the bridge, going straight, you continue on the Beltline Trail, um, the Ravine Beltline Trail, and here you go towards the Brickworks Park. We're taking the little detour to the Brickworks Park and the Farmer's Market. I think we went on the Lower Dawn Trail. It's hard to believe we're still in a city of 3 million people. Yeah, it is hard to believe. I think you might go for a swim to cool off. Yes. You see the little ducks? is Evergreen Brickworks and uh, inside is where they have a farmer's market every Saturday. Let's go check it out. As you leave Evergreen Brickworks, you get 
this little path that's right at the exit and that will lead you back to the ravine trail. So as you can hear, um, we're walking parallel to a very busy uh, road. It's Bayview Extension. And we're almost joining the Ravine Beltline Trail again. We just came from here. And if we would have kept going straight and not into Evergreen Brickworks, we would have come through here and continue along this way. So running parallel here is the Baby U Extension. It's just for a short bit that we're walking so close to the main road. A bit of Camino Pass here. If you've been on the Camino, you know. It's a rocky trail. If anyone from Parks and Rec Toronto is watching this, you should have better uh, signage up on your trails because there's a fork in the road and I'm assuming we go left. Or do we? Out of breath from coming up that hill. So once you get up here, this is Milkman's Lane. So we just came up to Milkman's Lane and crossed Craigley Park, and now we're making our way to Castle Frank Subway Station. It's about a five-minute walk. Um, in the city of Toronto, we are basically downtown Toronto. And this is just north of downtown. Um, I would say probably a 20 minutes walk for you to be at Bloor and Young. Um, so fairly, fairly accessible, this trail. You can take the subway, get off at Castle Frank, and then walk it all the way, walk all three sections to Caledonia and then at Caledonia you can just get on the Lansdowne bus which will take you back down to Bloor subway station. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the walk. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see and I'll see you again soon. Thank you! Bye.